All right, I'm pretty proud of the customizations I did for my train. And um, what I want to do is I want to show it, and I barely had enough resources for it. I used that vending machine to get even more. I even used uh, this metal scraps just to make the last set of bolts for it. But let's go. I didn't do anything in the front side yet, except I put some carpets down. But I put carpets at all the entrances and stuff like that. So we go into this first room with the crafting, right? I got I put some lights up in here, so now it's not as dark. I put these two right here to kind of break apart from the crafting area to the nice little bit of a luxurious area. And so I have like, you know, just some casual seats in here with some light. You know, you can't go wrong with some light. Everything else is pretty much the same. And then in here I threw in a light, a chair, this little thing and a light just to kind of give this place a little more of a homey feel and I'm I'm really liking how my trains coming along now now I could put these chairs another row of them right here but I want to kind of see if I want to do something different with that but eventually when I get another car added to this I'm gonna have this room right here moved back to the car over here and I'll make this like the living quarters I'll put a bed in here and everything I think that'll be pretty cool so but I am excited. That, oh, we've been here for so long, though. I mean, seriously. We've just sat at this place and built and built and built. We researched everything, fully decorated my train. I got all the upgrades for my grappling hook, you know, and I we opened up those chests. We got another little partner here, so now we have three workers. Oh, my goodness. That is just crazy how much you're able to do if you just get all the resources you can. I think I'm on to something. I think I'm on to something really interesting. Taking two Ritz crackers. I'm taking my refrigerated little hockey puck of Reese's. And I'm making a little Ritz and Reese's sandwich. <laughs> That's gonna be my lunch. Okay. I've had enough fun here. I've been at this one Pacific train station <laughs> for exactly four hours from when I started this, so it is time to move forward after being here for four hours. Right, let's just pump it and let's go. Choo choo. I think there's a horn on here somewhere. I don't know. Whoa. It's dark. It is dark, dark. Oh. Ooh, it's finally one of these places. Can we uh, stop this, please? Hey. We're finally at, like, an area with a black hole like this again. And it says, continue the adventure, move forward. Does the magnet work on those things? Oh, it doesn't. Dang. That would have been crazy. Imagine the magnet worked on them. Or anything like this. I don't even know what this is. I'm always happy to see something new that I haven't seen before. Is this where I get acid? It looks like there's little flowers and stuff here. Are those little creatures? Don't tell me they're face huggers. Tell me that they they are here for love. And snuggles, not kill me, you know. We can go a little further before I stop. Our right here is fine. Good ones. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Touch the creature. Touch. Oh. Oh. Right up to the elbow. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What? Yeah. He says he's the keeper of the are arena. I offer you, Wayfarer, a howling, a weeping, a libation. Oh. He wants to sacrifice you. No, 
You can survive. I suppose so. I'm not very good at simultaneous interpretation. We all have our flaws. Okay, the there are trials and wait in the arena. Those are escalating waves in which you must defeat all the opponents. After each wave, you can collect rewards and return to the train, or you can go further and get more rewards. A wave considered felled is all players die, which case only the minimum reward is given. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do round base survival. Fight. Oh, I didn't know this was in the game. This is going to be awesome. I'm Oh, it's like a whole world. Oh my goodness, we're in a forest. What? This is awesome. This looks like a Black Ops 3 map as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't know they were just gonna come at me like that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Retreat. Tactical retreat. <sighs> Don't suicide on me, you snake! Oh my goodness, I, I, I can't do another wave or I'll die. I will die if I do another wave. That's what I needed for my rewards. I mean, you give me ammo. If I could heal... If we could just sit back and heal for a moment, I could get a better suit. At least you give me the armor. You'd give me a crate if I did one more. I'm getting healed up. I think I can do one more. If not, I'm going to miss out on the acid and everything, which will be kind of sad. It killed me. I didn't realize I was going to have to fight that thing. Oh, I still get some acid? Okay, I'm happy. Definitely would need armor plates to deal with that thing. And save them for that final round. I'm ready to leave the arena, though. I don't know how to fight that thing, so this is like, that's kind of, that's dumb. At least now I know if I ever see one of these places again, unless it just lets me go back, but... In the thrill of realizing his own bravery, my warrior is triumphantly back on the train. But if I get armor and everything and I go back, I could do another round. Honestly, I think I'm good now. <laughs> that's all I needed. Rubber. Let's make two of that, we'll research whatever this thing is, and then we'll be on to this phase. Get the third upgrade. Oh, my stash boxes could get an upgrade. Wall light, furniture, floor furniture, dang. There's no cabin until here. 
and more health, and a sturdy hook, 50% chance to avoid stun upon collisions with objects. That's nice. And the armory mark too, that'd be interesting to see. We will unlock rubber. 